These crooked hills are called my home. Now I had a man and I had me. And walls that rose a thousand feet. Down not so long ago, it seems I dreamed a dream of a man in green. His breath I felt, his face I've seen. So come here, the Christmas game, how the annual night begins again. I risk my life to make my name so you might sing. Today we're going to do a One Trigus review video. Uh, we've got the Smoky Hut and Ben's got the Tangram. Uh, so we're going to set them up. Uh, I've just got a new stove, so I'm going to give that a go. Uh, I burnt it out beforehand at home. And uh, then hopefully we're going to make some tea and bacon rolls. So the One Tigress, they are a popular choice with the wild campers. They often come in coyote brown, very low profile. Tangram itself, comes with no poles. Uh, the idea is, is that you either create your own when you're on site or you bring a set of trekking poles. So looks like the kettle's boiled up. Yeah. So we'll go get that. Basically, this is the smoky hut outer, uh, black orca. This is the inner. And then I've got myself a fire mat, which the stove will sit on. And this is the stove jack. So this velcros into the outer and that's where the stove pipe will come through. Outer poles. Guy ropes, tent pegs. So just start with pegging the outer out, get it in shape, and put the poles in. One of the nice things is you get a bit of paracord, uh, a little bungee, and then you get a little loop as well. So loads of options for pegging out.
mean, that's so quick, isn't it? So we're going to install the stove jack. The man who I bought this off conveniently made this out of a oven silicon mat, so I didn't have to do anything, which is always good. And the flue will just come through here. Fire mat. This is basically a heat resistant coated material on top. And just like a normal kind of doormat material on the bottom. It's getting toasty in here. Right, so what I've got here is the One Tigress Tangram. It's a very generous single solo overnight or a two person tent. It offers two large vestibules, an inner and outer. It doesn't come with any poles. Those I've made myself from a nice bit of hazel we found on another trip. Uh, trekking poles fit, they're very suitable receptacles inside, more than strong enough. What I have done is I've added the customization of a ground sheet which is insulated. I spent a lot of time researching having something between my sleep mat and the ground and between the sheets and it was either a case of having a wool rug and a uh, silver thermal backed lining and then a tarp below that to protect the ground sheet. With a bit of searching I discovered this which is a thermally insulated tarpaulin which basically just gives me a bit of protection between the ground and the bottom of the tent. Well packed. So as I said, it's very simple. This will be facing towards my body. That goes on the ground. And all that does is just protect the bottom of the tent. Inside, we've got the one tigress, a bit dirty, same as all of their other range, and inside that should be ten and a pocket. 
full of guys. Some of the guys are optional depending on weather. Um, it's recommended obviously in high winds to get everything pitched up. Inside. I have to say I really, really like this coyote brown. It's almost, almost a green colour, but for this time of year it just fits in like a dream. So when it comes you have to insert the inner because I've had this out already I won't have to do that it's a simple T and loop setup that you get in all tents so what we'll do is I will peg this out first roughly get it into line Nice evening to be a few hundred feet up in the air. So, as before mentioned, it doesn't come with poles, it comes with your own or trekking poles. A nice loop, the pole itself just sits in. And with a bit of luck, this should all just go. So, this should. See when you're just staking out, just get yourself comfortable at first, get it up, and we'll settle with it shortly. So it's the same again on the other side. So it's double boxed webbing. So nice form a little pocket, and that will hold quite a substantial amount of weight, especially if you've got trekking poles and metal tips. It's, it's been assured that it will hold. Simple case of just finding its location, clipping it back. Always a good idea to get yourself a set of stove gloves. things a little bit safer and try not to burn your hands. Okay so being one tigress to keep everything all together it's a simple case of joining the inner and outer by hook and loop. Once you've got that on that'll keep the two together and it's the same on all four and then you're away. So the stove I bought is uh, from a company called Life Under Canvas. They've got a really good website, they sell loads of bell tents and all that kind of thing. Uh, they do three different sizes of stove. They do a bigger one, uh, this is the micro, and then there's a super luxury one. Um, I went for the micro purely because we do a lot of hiking and canoeing and kayaking, so kind of want as small as possible. Uh, but yeah, looks like it does the job, nice bit of kit. The stove jack's doing its job. Stove jack's kind of tepid, but uh, the tent's still nice and cool. So that's all good. So with all of One Tigress products, they come with these nice tidy ratchet points that you can pull to create tension across the entire thing. The height is 210 by 120. Like I said, for a single solo person, it's ample space, you, the kit and everything else. It's a bathtub design, so you've got edging around here. Again, this is all tensioned by these ratchet straps or straps. 
here we have four bars in each corner which create the upright bathtub shape keeping everything nice and neat so your trekking pole or in my case the hazel stick fits through here creating a nice like tight little join to that simple t-zips so it's nice and simple So the Tangram itself has been designed so it can be used as just a tarp shelter on its own or uh, if you want to do some night gazing, stargazing rather, you can just use it as a fly sheet. Fantastic little thing, not the best set up right now. I'll give you a quick lay down. I'm five foot two, which is short. And I can stretch. So even with somebody of six foot, you'd get away comfortably. Um, even the mesh itself seems to hold um, there's a temperature difference. Definitely it's not a, uh, a drafty or um, a cold sleep. I've only done the one night, but it was a comfortable one. So as with any hot tenting, uh, it's well worth getting yourself a carbon monoxide alarm. Um, I got this one off Amazon for about 30 quid. Packs down really small and just goes in the bag with the stove. <laughs> Definitely toasty in here, that. And the kettle is just about boiled. Very drippy kettle, this one, but looks amazing and works really well in fires. I've never had bacon medallions, did you? Yeah. No. <laughs> bacon without the extra fat. Makes it a bit rich. So yeah, as I was saying, two very large vestibules, a little bit of a height difference. But... So with these two vestibules, what's a really nice option is you can open and fold these right the way back allowing air through on hot days right the way through the tent, giving you plenty of shelter. Did you get the butter knife as well from the back seat? <laughs> no. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, have you got a knife here? I've got my... Feet. It's always a source of contention now, isn't it? I'm wondering how Achiever is going to be getting in, this into the kayak or on top of the kayak. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for kayak camping purposes, it's going to be interesting. Mm. Definitely. I reckon it would fit in the back. Yeah. If I can jam my sleeping bag into the front bit. I know for sure that'd fit into mine. So there we have it. The One Tigris range of wild camping tents. Um, any more questions you have, feel free to put them in the comments below. Um, don't know what more we can add, really. No, I'm really happy. Yeah. I mean, the substantial amount of heat has been given off this yeah. three kilowatt burner. Yeah, it's amazing. It's yeah, really, really cozy in here. I'm looking forward to setting off the bed and 
to spend the night in here. Yeah. I think one of the main things is just to prep enough wood that you don't have to end up getting up and sawing stuff. In the yeah, definitely. Of the night. Yeah, I think you, you're feeding it throughout the evening, aren't you? It's yeah. Not. Every kind of half an hour, you'll probably have to chuck a bit more in. Um, but yeah, the amount of heat is unbelievable. It's not particularly cold this evening, but uh, it's probably about 30 degrees in here. Yeah, by far. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, come the depths of winter, you could easily do most nights comfortably in this. I mean, you could use this as a shelter for a few of you and keep you warm. It was fantastic. Thank you. 